Right, hello everyone. I'm Pitpo and this is Ultima Underworld 2. An RPG game from 1993, I think. So, maybe a few words about the plot. Uh, we are actually trapped in this castle. Uh, what I'm doing right now is using easy mode movement to, uh, easy movement mode to move myself around slightly bit faster than just by running in real time. So, don't worry, this is not the game lagging, this is just me doing stuff. Oh, I'm not really used to this mouse sensitivity, but it should be fine. Oh yeah. So, uh, I've grabbed some basic inventory stuff that you are given at the beginning of the game. Oh my god. Can I please stop doing this? Okay, this is actually a pretty tricky jump, and I messed it up at the beginning. That's great. Guess I'm just going to wait for the platforms to line up correctly, like that. And yeah, this is the sewer system, so the castle. Uh, you are sent on a mission to investigate uh, what actually happened around there. You are actually supposed to talk to pretty much everyone in the castle to figure out what's the situation, but this is a speedrun, so who needs that, right? Uh, I'm grabbing this wand of lightning. Oh my god. That's insane. Alright. Um, this is going to be used for combat. Like, just in a moment. And then a little later. Because I'm a mage. Uh, fortunately, in this game, in this run, you don't really care about character stats, so you don't have to spend like 5 hours resetting uh, the character creation screen to just get the right character. So that's pretty good and my weapon safe. Yeah, I'm just tricking those goblins to let me in. There are numerous of different ways to, of getting things done in this game. I should probably save, but it should be fine though. So yeah, I had to kill that goblin to grab this key. Keychain. Because I'm going to free someone who's going to perform a real massacre in this place. Ah. And right now, every single goblin in this castle is dead. Uh, I actually wanted one to get killed. He's supposed to have dropped an item somewhere under that I really need, but can't find. Oh, there it is. And now I'm just going to death warp. Once you enter the ward, oh, I didn't mention the thing about crystals. I guess I'll do that later. Um, once you enter a ward, you can just warp out of it by dying. If you die in the like castle area or the, those sewers, the game is over. And there's an energy coming, so yeah, go on. We have a six dollar donation from. Adenix? Mm, there's no comment, but thank you for donating. I accidentally uh, went down to the sewers, which uh, made Miranda warp to her normal standard position. She was supposed to be a little bit closer to the exit from the sewers. Ah, oh, sloppy gaming. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going back down. Uh, I had to talk to Miranda to progress the story and open uh, two next wars in this crystal area. Oh, that's the one I have to enter right now. So the thing about the crystal is uh, you were just wandering around, searching out the sewers, find, uh, trying to find something, some information about the situation in the castle, and that's what you found. Wow, this rat. And this is actually a trap. I really don't want to enter this tile until all those candles are removed. Um, and that's what I came from. <laughs> there are like eight gems in the game and they are really required to beat it. It's like one of the three requirements to beat the actual game. Um, now to break this to progress the story even further I have to get some information from those people and level up a bit. Right. 
now. Shit. I really didn't want to break the conversation yet, but uh, my timing is terribly wrong. <laughs> Alright, so the best thing about this game is that you can get stuck pretty much anywhere where NPCs are because they might either let you pass or just block your way for five hours. And that's why running this game RTA is pretty, I don't know, RNG heavy. I just talked to someone. Uh, she's actually like a leader of uh, underground movement against Guardian forces. Guardian is an evil entity that you might have known from uh, other Ultima games, like six, uh, seven, seven, two, eight, and nine. And I've actually got a quest to kill someone, something, to prove my loyalty. And that thing, that something, is hidden in this area. This is actually a guardian spy that somehow managed to sneak into the castle. You can only kill him with uh, the sword that Altara gave you. Um, nice health. I'm dead. I really am dead. Unless I'm not poisoned anymore, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Fortunately, I saved before doing anything, so... Um, I'll try to drop down without dying. Okay, it's fine. Wow, that's very lucky. So I now, now I have to be very careful because... I'm. It's actually fine that I'm low on health because I'm going to death warp from the next world, but... You will see. So the next word is ice caverns, and there are lots of tiles that can you, that can break under you. So I'm just going to be saving every second now because I really don't want to die. Any full damage will pretty much kill me right now. I have two HP left, so I've got to be really careful and try to avoid those uh, avoid those broken tiles, cracked tiles. Fortunately, I'm only here for a moment just to grab the gem I need from here. And it should be a very quick death warp, yeah. So death warping puts you in a random place in the cavern. It takes a while for a compass to figure out where you are, so... You might get the perfect spawn exactly where you want to be, but... This is not the case most of the time. This is another reason for choosing a segmented way of running this game instead of going RTA. So yeah, this is where Miranda was supposed to appear last time. And technically... The plot is progressed, so I can go back to the cavern and uh, enter the next free world that have opened. But since the crystals pretty much are in uh, the faces that are lit on the crystal are RNG, I want to reduce this as much as I can, and I'm doing this right now by treating those jams with some special voodoo power which allows me to merge them into the crystal and open those worlds permanently. Oh yeah, I've picked up something. Those are runes. This game has a probably the best magic system I have ever seen, or this entire series. This is a spin-off of Ultima series, but yeah. Um, so it has a runic system. I'm really taking ages to set this up. <laughs> and this is the only spell I need. This is a jump spell. And that's the reason why I chose uh, Mage Class. Because I'm going to cast like one or two spells. And those are Vorses. Pretty cool creatures. They are Mandas and Servants in this world. This is basically the most fucked up world in this game. You should, if you ever play this game, this is the one you should definitely visit at least once before you give up on those terrible controls or something. Because yeah, let's be honest, this is a very old game. It doesn't look good, it doesn't play very well, but the mechanics are amazing, so. And yeah, the stream is usually darker. I mean, the game feed on stream is usually darker than it really is, so I just helped you a little bit. By extending the range. Um, please don't die. Okay, thank you. 
Yesterday when I was practicing, I actually figured out that uh, damage you take per uh, turn is based on... Uh, not turn, but uh, over time is based on game's frame rate. When I'm playing at home, my game is usually running at terrible frame rate. But those computers are actually pretty good compared to mine. So I really wanted to use easy movement mode to get through the lava without taking much damage. And this is uh, the one that's pretty much going to make me go back to each world at least once. Or visit each world at least once. Guardian, that evil entity I was talking about earlier actually left some surprises in each world he controls. There, I call them power lines. I just got one of the first of them from this world. So Guardian technically technically doesn't have any power over it. Now I'm going to hope for a good RNG. Oh, that's great. For some reason, this world hates to be triggered and you can spend like ages trying to get inside. So this world is called Piece of Carnage. Oh my god. And it has a pretty cool teleportation system called Arena Fights. But I'm not going to fight anyone. Just using this to get to the place I want to be quickly. And um... Coming up soon is the reason why this run is only like 20 something minutes long. I'm going to throw those items at this wall for some reason. One of them is a uh, potion of healing and the other spell that I don't remember the name of it, but it's very powerful. It's like, uh, it's doing area damage. So harming multiple people at the same time. And while I'm going to do a massacre to get the gem I need, you can read some donations. Alright, we have a $4 donation from Anonymous with no comment, and a $7 donation from Anonymous with no comment. But thank you for donating. Um, I've seen it for a second, but it's... Oh my god. Okay, there it is. For a second I was afraid that uh, someone managed to despawn the gem because it happens. Creatures in this game are so cool they can despawn items and I have no idea why did I hide this in my box. But yeah, I shouldn't have done it. So I didn't explain what actually th throwing those items at the wall did. So let me do it now. Um, those items have like limited use. Ones have very few uses and scrolls are just one until they break. But breaking them doesn't remove their magical abilities so I can use them as many times as I want now. As long as I know which one is which. And now I'm going to do uh, something that's very common for... Please jump. Oh, this run isn't very good now. <laughs> Looks like I'm good at finding uh, keys. No, it's. It should be working. Oh, I see what's the problem. So, yeah, this is safe hovering, and this is going terribly wrong. I have no idea why. Either something's wrong with this keyboard, or. Someone's blocking my move. Seriously, <laughs> let me jump. Ah, uh, so it's going to take ages like that. Let me just do it. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm pressing my jump button and it does nothing. Both of them. That's insane. I guess it would be faster to run around at this point. <laughs> okay, one more and I should be able to make it. If I could just... Please. Of course, I had to turn by accident. Yeah, it took like five hours, but finally made it. So usually it uh, takes like three save hours to get up there. But this time the keyboard decided that it doesn't want to work. Either keyboard or taskbox. Probably taskbox because it's a great software. So yeah, I just talked to one of the most important characters in the game and I don't have to talk to him anymore. This is what progressed the plot and started like uh, the quest for 
second of the three requirements to beat the game. And I'm going down just to grab one more item. As you may have noticed, I've already done everything here, but there is something I need to beat the game. And this is the fastest way to acquire this. Saving because I'm not trusting this jump button. Okay, it worked. Surprising. The item I need is in this bag. I'm just going to warp back and death warp. Okay, I'm going back to world 3 to finish off what I started there. First by killing some skeletons that you can't see yet. But you might have heard them. Oh, this one is still alive. I hope... Oh, this is not the right back. So it must be this one. Yep. I need rock hammer from here. Because good level design actually requires you to have this. I'm wondering where my stones are. Um, this is not good. I might have some issues later on trying to death warp. Unless I do something else. Okay, I've got a kind of a backup strat, so maybe it's fine. I must have thrown away my slingshots for some reason somewhere. <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was actually one of the requirements of thing that I'm going to do later. Just preparing my body for it. Uh, I might actually tell you what is setting up here. I'm going to catch a gene inside me. Because I don't know that yet. Or maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm pr if I probably would know it if I talked to everyone in the castle. But I'm going to need a huge amount of power in my lungs to do something later on and to do that I need the gene trapped inside me okay those are another two very powerful scrolls oh, I should have said before starting that I hope they won't eat my items okay so yeah one of them this is a freeze time and this is smite foe I don't have sh anything to kill myself with, so I'm just going to rely on those guys. This might take a while, so I'll go on and read the donation if you want. Alright, we have a $5 donation from Anonymous with no comment, and then we have another $5 donation from Anonymous with no comment. Thank you for donating. Right, I'm moving on to the word 5, problem of everyone. It's like a one huge puzzle world called St. Hilary's Academy. This is supposed to be a school for mages, so that's pretty much something for my character, I guess. It's just a bunch of... oh my god... Uh, puzzles that you're supposed to solve to get to get the gem and guardian power lines cut off. Yeah, I'm getting some issues moving around here. Okay, at least my pop my jump button now decided to work. That's great, otherwise I would be kind of screwed. So this is like one of the most fun parts of this world. It's real fun and casual playthrough, trust me. You have to try it. I'm going to grab another wand here. Uh, I technically don't need it yet, but I might want to use it to death warp. Because I lost my stones. So yeah, using portal in this world is very useful. It casts like half of it. forgetting to set up things making me lose time and it's pretty much over this is like the last huh level of it cool I 
fail to get in there. Oh my. Can I please grab the... What? Uh, this is bad. The stone is stuck in the air. Okay, forgot that I have frozen time. I could have actually used that stone to kill myself. I guess. Nah, no, not really. So, I'm just going to fire, fire a fireball. And depending on where I am right now, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going back to the castle. There's like a bit of non-linearity here. I can either go back to world 1 or go back to the castle. I could have to use portal to get here, but that jump, that jump was terrible. So going back to the nice little to treat those jams. And I can finish it off. And the next trigger that progresses the story is actually uh, merging all those six gems into the main crystal in the cave. I guess I could use easy movement mode to get there faster. Um, please? So yeah. Back to world one. This time for just a very short, brief moment. Um, then I do win. The fun thing about Portcullises is that you can just do what I did. If it's half open or not closed entirely, you can just walk through it without any problem. So, oh. There's actually a hallway here. I'm going back to the castle because the game is now ready to tell me something. Actually, I'll spoil it to you. What is wrong with me? I can't do those jumps. <laughs> it's like very easy. And it says like, I don't know, one second, two seconds. Um, someone has something very important to, to say to me, but he has a guest. They're kind of a memers, as you'll see in a second. So this conversation is pretty interesting. As you can see, Nelson and Patterson and I are trying to interrupt each other. And now everyone's dead. Why is that? Uh, that's because Patterson was a traitor and Guardian's ag agent. So the whole situation was like, Nelson had something important to tell to me, but uh, Patterson like, you what mate? Stop it. What are you doing? Dude. And Nelson was like, I don't know, um, Get good noob. And the Patterson was like, uh, oh, now you fucked up. And then he was like, I don't know, uh, praise the guardian, I guess. So he had to die. I didn't mention that yet, but there are actually lots of things going on in Castle. And it looks like a servant rebellion slowly starting to begin somewhere, but. You can't really see that, or know that, because you are not talking to anyone. There was also that uh, thing with a spy, because P Nelson wasn't the first character that died from Hands of Patterson. There was actually also Lady Tori, another character we have never met before. Uh, why is this still on? Okay, so apparently high frame rate also makes ascending much slower. And I didn't save, so I really hope I get it first time, first try. Otherwise, this is a soft lock. Well, not really a soft lock, but... Okay, thank god. I'm just really scared because I know creatures can eat items. It's like a glitch, but they can make items disappear and fuck you over. This is, like, something that I'm going to use to catch the gene inside me. Very soft and then goes good frame rate I guess. And I'm trying to get oh, over there. I'm going to break this battle a little bit, but not entirely. I've couldn't one taken one more 
hit. Alright, it's done. You can see that because my vision is pretty fucked by one of those amazing creatures. Which might even damage me here because, okay, that's fine. Great. No suitable space, that's interesting. I really don't want to die here. This is like the worst world. It's very confusing, very easy to get lost here. And everything wants to, you, wants to have you really dead, so... Gotta be careful there. And this is like the last world. I haven't finished yet. Tomb of Preselov, or Prekerlov, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, why is it not there? Oh, I almost forgot something I used to forget all the time. Cutting Guardian power lines in this world. So yeah. This is a very fun place. It's like a tribute to old dungeon crawlers. It's a one huge confusing dungeon. But fortunately I know the way. Maybe that's because I'm speedrunning this game. I don't know. So with frozen time, all the projectiles are frozen in the air so I can just run past them and hopefully not run into any of these two. That's great. I really want to use uh, healings uh, thing before I move on. Just for safety, because marathon. That's the wrong thing. Okay, I guess you can read the donation now. We have a five dollar donation from Anonymous. Thank you for donating. Alright, so this thing doing this opens a passage. And doing what I just did warps me right there, which is very useful. The only thing left before I can finish this world is opening the last uh, corridor. Oh, you also might be wondering what am I doing it here if I've already got both the gem and the garden power lines card. I'm actually going to acquire the item that's going to free everyone. Oh yeah. That's the horn. Horn of Preslov. You needed the uh, Jin's power to actually be able to blow it. And now that I have a flight spell, which I probably didn't even mention, I can go back to the castle using this shortcut. Unfortunately, you can go back the same way because um, to be able to teleport to a tile, it actually have to be a full tile. So, square, tile. And I'm pretty much starting the endgame section right now. Like, finishing everything and... The time is coming up in like two minutes. So yeah. Oh! By the way. Those guys are not... Very good. They're actually hostile, so I'm freezing time to stop them from talking to me. And I should have turned a little bit further to the right, yeah. Well, I guess I'll just run. That's not a huge deal. Please don't break. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. He didn't die. So... Hopefully I can turn around before he gets here. Okay, great. So now that the creature is dead, I can just enter here. And do my thing. Which is doing this, freezing time and kill myself. I'm surprised that this one isn't worn out yet. And there's still one more gem that I f didn't merge. Alright, going back to War 2. To grab a book that's needed to perform the ritual like this is the main boss of the game but she doesn't seem to care about me maybe that's because uh, the time is frozen but she's annoyed by my action well the game didn't have to mention that that's pretty obvious like everyone's annoyed by my action they're actually going to ride the castle 
in a moment. So there's going to be an, an epic fight, or um, not really. So yeah, I'm going to reset position of everyone in the castle because you can actually self up here, right at the end of the game. So yeah, I didn't have to talk to anyone, I could have just entered the option I knew is right. And yeah, this is the main boss of the game. Smite Foe is really a very powerful spe spell. And time is coming, on, coming up right now. Time. So what was the time? So that was Ultima number 2. I hope you enjoyed that run, so thank you for watching. Right, Pitbull, thanks for that thanks for that run. And we're gonna go to 